What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nick, also known as Tetra Ninja, and I welcome you to my Let's Play walkthrough of the game, well, the game game, uh, Game of Thrones, and if you do not know what Game of Thrones is, I do not know what rock you've been living under for the last year, it's pretty much a pop culture hit, and like all things that are popular, they, they made a video game out of it. So yeah, this game is actually published, I think, by Atlas, and I think the last Atlas game I played was Catherine, which was an awesome game, and I expect this kind of game to be on the same vein as Lord of the Rings War in the North, which I also did a walkthrough of, so uh, you guys seem to like that walkthrough, so I decided to bring this one as well. And other than that, um, if you're going to enjoy the series, uh, please give this first video the biggest rating that you possibly can, just to get off to a good start. And if you do not want to miss an episode of the series in your sub box, subscribe to the show that I have created for it on YouTube. And other than that, let's get started. And you can tell, based on the controller scheme, I am playing on PlayStation 3. And we're going to start a new game. Knight, Lord, or Squire. I'll just go with Knight mode. I'm assuming that's normal. And if you're wondering, uh, I am a big fan of the TV show. I have only watched the first season though because they're about to wrap up the second season, but I save all the episodes so I can kind of like watch them all at once rather than uh, watch waiting every single week. Uh, I have not read any of the books, so my, my background <laughs> of the story is limited to the TV series. Year 298. Westeros, realm of the Seven Kingdoms. The world has changed. The ancient Targaryen line of kings had its fire extinguished after reigning over the Seven Kingdoms for many centuries. Robert Baratheon's rebellion unified most of the realm's great houses under a single banner, thus bringing about the fall of the Targaryens. Thus, 15 years ago, he acceded to the Iron Throne, becoming Lord of the Seven Kingdoms. Far from the Game of Thrones and political intrigues, far to the north, in the land where winter seems never to die, a border cuts the continent in two, the Wall. The Night's Watch has been its guardian for thousands of years, protecting the realm at all costs from wildling attacks and other menaces from beyond. The danger is constant, the cold is bitter, and death is sweet for those who fall. At times, even the bravest warriors give up and attempt to escape this white purgatory. Somewhere south of the wall. I'm actually curious to see how far the story stretches out into the overall territory of the continent. If we're just gonna be stuck in one area. Herpy! We got a runner. I knew that you were the one he'd send, Mars. Damned moment. It had to be you, huh? It's over, old brother. All your attempts are in vain. You know I'll end up taking you to Castle Black, dead or alive. Why not let me get away for old time's sake? After all, we're brothers. You betrayed us by attempting to escape, my friend. My duty is to bring you back. You know there's only one way to leave the Night's Watch. I'm sorry, Moors, you leave me no choice. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, kill it with fire. All right, chapter one, Moore's present day. All right, I'm done reading that. I'll give you guys a couple more seconds, though. I'm not going to read it for you. I'm not your mother here. <laughs> uh, that should be good enough. All right. So we are Moors, Westford. Okay, let's choose a combat style here. Landed Knight. Do I want to deal wield? Okay. Hedged Knight or Landed Knight? Uh, I think I'll go with the Landed Knight. Go with a safe bet here. Be all round. Yeah. Stance points. Well, I guess we gotta start here. Day strike. Taunt. That sounds useful. Passive ability, just plus five damage. I think I'd rather just learn a new ability for myself. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't. Boo! Okay, that's good enough. Alright. Swords. don't know what armor I'm going to be using. <laughs> uh, 32 in swords. That sounds kind of overkill. Okay. One second here. Let me just take a look at... Alright, I wear... I wear heavy armor. So that gives me an idea what I want to do. There you go. Character traits... Number of strength and weaknesses must be equal. I can choose up to three strengths. Oh, I get it. So, 
some traits are worth more than others, such as the born leader is worth four. But if I choose four, I have to also choose four for this one as well. Or up, or a combination that adds up to four. I like the born leader one. Reflection. Extra leveling up is better than more damage, I believe. Poison. One percent. One percent is not worth it. These are really not worth anything at all. Stick with those two. I don't have to choose more than... I don't have to choose the three. But now I gotta choose something worth... Six. Combination that adds up to six. Fear of blood. Okay, that makes no sense at all. <laughs> oh man. Uh, deflection, I need one more. I wouldn't normally go with the damage resistance, but it is only 2%. Alright, good. Alright, now we have balance. Let's move on. You've been a bad man. Castle Black. Nothing's changed since the day we arrived. Fifteen years. Remember, Morris? We were so strong back then. At the time, I really believed in the mission of the Night's Watch, you know. You've changed, old brother. I never thought you would betray us. Aye, well, you've always had a knack for choosing friends. One night here. And you'd already bashed in three of our brother's skulls. I wasn't the only one there, if I remember rightly. <laughs> That's me. I never think of the consequences. All I do is give. Look at this, boys. Morse finally brought back that worm, Gorol. Well done. Some men bet against you, but I wagered you'd make it. It must have been quite a hunt. Gorol knows how to cover his tracks and isn't half bad with the sword. I've known you for 15 years, but I still had just a shred of hope that I'd give you and your damn dog the slip. I would have hated getting caught by a little shit like our friend here. Hold your tongue, deserter. That's not what your mother said last night. I'll teach you about respect, dog. Enough. I forbid you to touch him. You would not have had the slightest chance against him, played in hand. Tell me, where is Mormont? The Lord Commander is in front of the Commander's Keep with the new recruits. They've just sworn their oaths. So they are finally sworn brothers of the Night's Watch. Fools. Now you can teach them a little lesson. Right, Mors? <laughs> oh, your mama jokes. They never get old. No matter the game. <laughs> Moors, you've brought this traitor back. I knew I could count on you. I did what I had to, Lord Commander. 
Your modesty does you honor. Recruits, listen to me. Moors here is our best tracker. Now that you are sworn brothers of the Night's Watch, he will mold you into rangers. He has just returned from a very delicate mission, tracking down Gorals, who took the cowardly route and deserted. In the name of the Night's Watch, I thank you, Moors. I know how hard it must have been for you to hunt down a friend. I swore an oath to the Watch. If we go back on our word and our mission, then we are nothing. If only all my men spoke like that. Speaking of new brothers, I see only four of them. Where is the fifth? Someone attacked him last night. He's been looked after by Maester Eamon as we speak. One of our brothers has broken his vows in the most sordid manner. That traitor then beat the poor boy and left him in the snow more dead than alive. Damn it. I swear I'll skin the culprit alive. Alas, we do not know if the boy will recognize his assailant, or even if he is to survive. Too bad. The brat certainly was a pretty boy, soft as a virgin. What a pity I never managed to corner him. Ew. Not very well chosen for your last words. What? Did I upset somebody? Silence, traitor. Each time I pass judgment on a deserter, I feel the bitterness of failure. It is my duty, as Lord Commander of the Night's Watch, to make true brothers of you. This morning, you were strangers. Now, you have all sworn to honor our oath. Some come to us as knights, carrying out their duties, and some as criminals, forced to choose between the noose and the wall. Once you take the black, your past is dead. You must wash away your former loyalties. Forget your family and friends. They cease to exist. Such is the strength of our oath. No wife, no children, no lands. All that matters is defending the wall and the realm. We are your only home. We are your duty. We are your new family, the only one that matters now. More than 8,000 years ago, humanity itself was nearly lost during the long night. Our predecessors then built the wall that you see behind us. This massive wall of ice is 700 feet high and divides the continent in half. It protects the realm of the Seven Kingdoms from threats beyond the Wall. Defending it is our purpose, our duty. The Night's Watch has unfailingly carried out this mission for centuries, generation after generation. Wildlings, cold, wind, and dishonor. Those are your enemies even in the midst of a summer such as this one. We have all taken our vows before the gods, whichever gods they are. If you betray your brothers, if you break this sacred oath, throughout the seven kingdoms of Westeros, you will be met with one punishment. Death. Aww. Watch closely, you young whelps. May this serve as a lesson to you. Prepare yourself for your final journey, Gorold, my friend. That's all I expect. Someone call Ned Stark.
What are you, some kind of a sissy? Come on. You will live and you will die in the shadow of the wall. There is no other way. Welcome to the Night's Watch. Moors. Take Ronit, Poddy, Seltigar, and Patrick and put together a patrol. Make sure they smell a little less like summer before winter comes. Right. Listen. Since I need to teach you to survive at the wall, let's see what you're worth with a blade in your hand. Gather in the exercise yard. All right, gotta train the recruits. The green horns. Cue the arrow to the knee jokes. <laughs> so, Celtigar, you were as excited as a virgin to see your hero behead that poor Gorold, weren't you? Watch your tongue, peasant. Lowborn scum like you often end up the same way. Oh, just listen to him. Still with his milk teeth that he wants to roar. Who knows, you little shit. I may even have been the one to squirt you into your mother's belly. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> one more word like that, and I'll send you back to the shit heap where you were born. Shut up. Knight or thief. You are all brothers now, and equal before the gods. You will fight only when I order you to. Pardon me. My vows should be stronger than my roots. Oh, indeed, my lamb. Here, you're officially brother to swine and rapers. <laughs> Since I must train you, I'll show you why you must stay united. Attack me, one at a time. Okay. Attack order. Cancel last queue to action. Self defense. Massive strike. Interrupt. Oh. Alright, so not your typical action adventure. And I can't afford any of the others, right? Yeah. Alright, I see. So instead of attacking it swinging randomly, I just decide what I want to attack with. Try that. Why are you facing the wrong way? So I can do regular attacks, and these are my special attacks. Day strike. Pressing square refilled my gauge there. Patrick, Poddy, approach. Let me see what you're made of. Switch targets. I always like taking down the archers first. They're usually the most hassle. Oh, he's bleeding. He's bleeding. Let's refill that. 
keep bursting. Alright, there's one. Actually, there you go. The stun one's pretty good. Oh, never mind. At ease. Moors, we must speak. I've just returned from the infirmary with some very sad news. Maester Eamon could do nothing to save the boy. He has succumbed to his wounds. They were too grave. These are dark times for us. Justice must be done, Moors, for the honor of the Night's Watch. Before he died, the boy had enough strength to give us the name of his tormentor. He is one of ours, Kragan. Kragan? First Gorold deserts, and now one of our best veterans betrays his vows? You know what I expect from you, Moors. Kragan is leading the Western Patrol. They left this morning. I will leave immediately. Shall I take the new brothers with me to track down Kragan? They may still smell like summer, but I need them to learn how to patrol the wall. On the other hand, you'll have to do without Patrick. The builders need him. All right, Jaw. Kragan certainly is a big fellow. I know. He's almost as good a fighter as you. Do not endanger your new brothers too much. We're too short of men to waste them. If you hurry, you should be able to catch up with him in the ruins of the Icemark Fort. Understood. One final thing. I received a raven bearing news that concerns you. A knight in the service of the King's Hand is riding towards Castle Black. He is coming especially to speak to you. I don't know if that's actually the actor who plays Mormont, but it's pretty much, it's pretty similar. So it's pretty good. The voice acting is pretty decent so far. The hand of the king, eh? I wonder what he wants with me. I was actually hoping that you could enlighten me on that matter. My life belongs to the Night's Watch, Jaw. I left the Game of Thrones behind long ago. So be it. May the gods speed you. Listen here, you crows. We meet at the west gate and leave within the hour. <laughs> 